Mabuhay Manila, Pope here. The addition of the Aura Portrait algorithm to Vivo series devices had a major impact on them when it comes to innovating mobile photography. And that's one of the reasons why they stand out in the market. Today, I'm holding their latest addition to their V-series lineup, which is the V30 5G. It has its Aura Lite 3.0, a visually stunning design, and a flagship level chipset. But the real question is, can Vivo manage to balance photography and power at the same time? Let's find out. At first glance, you can already see the huge changes that they made in designing this phone. It has a stylish curve design with a thin profile and unique colors. The review unit we have has the petal white colorway that has a 3D petal pattern on its back and if you compare it to another V30 device that comes with the same colorway, the patterns are different. It has a smooth textured finish so you won't have to worry about fingerprints. Smudges. You do get a free case out of the box in case you don't want to damage your stylish smartphone. The camera module is also protruded with the same textured pattern on its Oralite OIS portrait system. Around the frame, you get the volume rockers and the power button on the right side. At the top, you have a text that says professional portrait. At the bottom is the USB-C port for charging, a SIM tray, a microphone, and the speaker grill. Carrying the device is also comfortable thanks to its slim profile and it is also lightweight, weighing at 186 grams. As always, Vivo manages to amaze us with its unique and awesome design. Turning over the device, you get a 6.78-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display. The display is great. It has a wider view thanks to its curved edges. In terms of quality, the display offers you impressive color sharpness even when viewed from a different angle. You can binge watch your favorite shows on this device with no problem at all thanks to its impressive display. Navigating the display is also great thanks to its 120Hz refresh rate. We've been using this device as our daily driver for the past few days and we haven't encountered any problem at all. My only issue here on this device is that using the device with just one hand is going to be tough, especially for those who have small hands. I'm not saying that the device is big, it's just that the material used on its back, despite the textured finish, is quite slippery. For its camera, Vivo V30 packs a dual camera setup that houses a 50 megapixel OIS main and a 50 megapixel ultra wide. The quality of the shots using the 50 megapixel main delivers outstanding results. It has good sharpness and details, and it has good dynamic range in daylight. Whether it's portrait or landscape photography, it delivers post worthy image. The key selling point of the V30 is its R-Lite portrait system. One of my favorite things about these features is that it allows you to control whether you like a cold tone or warm tone on your image. Whatever you choose, the results are always impressive. The results are even great even without the help of natural light. Subject to background separation is great with good details and impressive color distribution. As for its ultrawide, it is great to have a 50 megapixel ultrawide instead of that gimmick 8 megapixel doesn't do much when it comes to quality. The colors are vibrant with good sharpness and details and no distortion around the edges. So, even if you post-process it or not, the quality would be acceptable. Switching to its front-facing camera, Vivo V30 offers a 50 megapixel selfie shooter. Qualities are good, sharp details, and true to life skin tone. The dynamic range is also good with decent HDR processing. As for video recording, it can shoot videos up to 4K at 30 FPS with standard stabilization and 1080p at 30 FPS with the Ultra One. Here is a sample video. With the cameras out of the way, let's see if the Vivo V30 is more than just a photography smartphone. Under the hood, it runs on the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 that is paired with 12 gigs of RAM plus another 12 gigs of expandable RAM and 256 gigs of storage. It runs on Android 14, slapped with Font Touch OS 14. Upon opening the device, there are some pre-installed applications, but all of them can be uninstalled easily. As for gaming, we tried playing Genshin Impact on this device for a couple of hours. It is not as smooth, but it does run better with a bit of frame drops on the side. Although everything is pretty much bearable, so you can still enjoy the game. We even tried doing Abyss and cleared floor 9 and 10 with no problems at all. Here are some of its benchmark results.
As for its battery, the Vivo V30 is backed by a 5,000 mAh battery capacity that is then paired with 80 watts of fast charging. During our video loop test, our battery lasted for about 16 hours and 13 minutes. As for charging, using up the 5,000 mAh battery took us about 43 minutes, which is not that bad. Overall, the V30 is a good upgrade from last year's V29. It offers a more unique and refreshing design, impressive performance on both cameras and gaming with long-lasting battery life. The V30 5G is priced at 24,999 pesos for the 12GB plus 256GB of storage. It may not be the best at its price point but it does have some advantages like its premium looks and its flagship level chipset. The V30 5G is more than just a camera-centric device since it offers a balance on both camera features and draw power. So that is a review of the V30 5G. What are your thoughts about this device? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. Also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com and follow us on FB, X, and TikTok for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of the latest devices. Once again, this is Pope and Mabuhay Manila.